Hello and welcome to another Tyco video. Today I am excited to share with you that version 12 of the Tyco software has just now been released. So I wanted to take just a brief moment to go over some of the new features and enhancements that you can expect to see in this new version of the Tyco software. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so just a high level overview of the three main categories of enhancements and features. First we have photometry. So for those who like to work with extended objects like comets, there is a new comet photometry module. I will be showing what that looks like here in a brief moment. Next we have automation. So for those who like to conduct sky surveys, there is a new module that makes it a lot easier to automatically process incoming data sets as they arrive. So that's a nice feature to have. And finally, and I think this is really exciting with version 12, uh, a lot of new functionality around the ability to detect and measure artificial satellites to include identification and orbit determination. So this is a huge amount of new functionality that I think opens up a lot of new capability with the Tyco software. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive deeper into each of these categories. So as I mentioned, photometry, there is a new comet photometry module. And as a, just a high level overview of this, what this looks like is it outputs two pieces of information. One is this graph that you see here on the right. So as it increases the measuring aperture, it computes the corresponding magnitude. And the other piece of information is this comet report uh, window that is produced. So this is a nice feature to have, again, for those who work with extended objects. And I will actually be doing a tutorial video uh, just on this feature alone, so stay tuned for that if you are interested uh, in this kind of functionality. Uh, next, again, we have the automation uh, component. So uh, for those who conduct sky surveys, this is a nice feature to have. So this is what I call the monitor queue module. So it watches for new data sets as they arrive, and it can automatically invoke the auto run uh, module on these data sets. So again, ideal for survey operation. And I will also be showing a tutorial video uh, on this capability as well. And finally, a lot of new functionality in version 12 concerns the ability to detect and measure artificial satellites to include identification and orbit determination. And in fact, I even wrote an entirely new module to detect moving objects uh, just for this purpose alone. So I call this FAST, which is an acronym for Fast Acquisition of Streaked Targets. Now the objects themselves do not actually have to be streaked, although it helps a little bit if they are. But uh, I wrote a paper on this. It is available on the Tyco website. Uh, it is this 2024 paper here. Uh, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about it, uh, but on the surface, uh, what it allows you to do is to fully detect, track, and identify hundreds of objects from hundreds of images in a really short amount of time. So this is a really uh, a completely different way of detecting moving objects from that of the synthetic tracker. Uh, synthetic tracker is, again, very optimized and designed for the detection of very, very faint uh, objects. But it does have a performance trade-off where if you start to ask it to detect objects that move fast relative to the uh, dwell time, then it starts to become very computationally intensive and it can take a lot of time to, to do that. Uh, the fast tracker, on the other hand, is completely immune to that. Uh, you can have it search all possible motion vectors. Uh, the computation time remains unchanged. So it's very fast in that regard. And also it can accommodate a very high variability in object brightness, which is exactly what you want uh, because a lot of satellites, they may be tumbling or rotating and have uh, points in which they're, they're bright throughout the frame and then they, they appear dim. And so if the object is present even on just a few frames, so if you've, if you've taken 100 exposures and the object is present on only a few of those, it will still uh, stand a very good chance of being detected with high confidence. So uh, that's a very nice uh, set of features to have there. And also identification, as I mentioned, is a huge component to this. So once you've identified detections, you would like to know uh, what they are. So just as a basic example here, you've got some results that have been presented and it is very quick, not just to detect these objects, but also to identify them. And next it also has an orbit viewer. So this is just a really basic demo of what that looks like. So here you have the world map and a ground track of two satellites. 
but it, it also has the ability to present different views uh, like a 3D view as well. And finally, orbit determination. So you've generated several measurements of these objects and you would like to compute a two-line element to predict where they might be in the future. Okay, so this has been a brief overview on some of the new features and enhancements that you can expect to see in this new version of the Tyco software. I do plan to release several new tutorial videos in the coming weeks, each one going into more detail on the various topics that have been presented today. The idea is that hopefully these will be informative and instructive on how to get the most out of all this new functionality. So with that, I want to thank you for watching and see you next time.